Marcus Kolga is here from Disinfo Watch. And this show is not about Disinfo Watch because it is about information. Now, if you like the information, PayPal, keep us on the air. Marcus, there are a number of people who are saying, yes, it's the summertime now and we're in pretty good shape in Canada. Not the best, but pretty good shape in Canada as far as the pandemic. But in other countries, other civilizations, it's not nearly so good. And part of that is because there is a huge reticence to take the vaccine. Tell us about it. Look, there's a, the vaccine hesitancy has been a problem that we've been seeing for quite some time already. Um, there's been vaccine, vaccine hesitancy amongst a certain group of uh, North Americans uh, for the past decade. Right. But the COVID situation has really exacerbated that problem. And foreign governments have actually seen it as a way to polarize our societies. And we were warned about this already back in March of 2020, when the European Union actually put out a public statement saying that Russia and China would use the pandemic and certainly vaccines right. to uh, polarize our societies and divide us using those sorts of narratives. What about, I mean, so that's for our society. What about third world nations where, I mean, people are just saying, stay away from it altogether? Well, Russia is a really good example of this. Only uh, some 26% of the Russian population has actually been vaccinated with a first shot of the state-approved Sputnik V vaccine. And a lot so of it's called Sputnik V. It is. It's, it's not very imaginative, but, no, well, uh, well, but that's it evokes the something. <laughs> um, this the the Russian government has been promoting narratives about vaccine hesitancy, whether it's the Pfizer, Moderna, AstraZeneca, and they've been pumping this out like a fire hose. Uh, yeah. Whether it's their, into their own uh, domestic media or foreign media. And it's, uh, it's unfortunate, it's tragic, but those narratives have really backfired because now the, the level of vaccine hesitancy in Russia itself is so high that they won't take the state-approved drug. And there's a real, real problem and a rising uh, rate of COVID uh, cases in Russia now. So this is happening. It's happening in the third world. It's happening in, in Western nations as well. But a lot of it is due to misinformation, disinformation that's intentionally put out there to make us hesitant about taking these, uh, these drugs. So when some people are suggesting that the world is starting to open up again, there are a number of countries and societies where if North America wanted to be safe, they're going to have to be insulated again. Well, that, that may be, and we're going to have to uh, you know, put, take precautions and uh, enact policies to make sure that uh, we're not threatened by those sorts of those places where uh, we where the pandemic is a, is a continuing problem. It's going to be a tougher, different world. Marcus Kolga, thanks very much. Three minutes. Justin Trudeau is traversing the country on a government jet, handing out your money for all kinds of projects. I'm sure they're all extraordinarily worthy. Why now? He wants your vote. He is trying to buy a bigger liberal majority next time around. So, as we are one of the few news services which are not paid for by the government and by Justin, please support us. And thanks for watching.